Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Easy Learning. In this session, now you are going to learn Chapter 1 Multimedia and Desktop Publishing Part 2. You are going to learn about the contents of multimedia. I hope you remember what is multimedia. Multimedia allows the users to combine and change data from various sources like image, text, graphics, video, audio to a single platform. So these are the components of multimedia. Now you are going to learn one by one the components of multimedia. First one is the text. Even though multimedia includes image, video, audio, graphics, etc., text is the basic components used in multimedia. It's a powerful tool also. Regarding with the multimedia, the text is having two things. One is static text, another one is hypertext. So what is the difference between the two? Static text displays the text that is not changed at runtime. Hypertext provides the user with the flexibility and choice to navigate through the material. So the text remains as a heading or a line in a paragraph. Here the text or a bunch of text that are attached with hyperlinks. So static remains static as per the name. Hypertext is going to have a hyperlink. Here a hypertext means only text or bunch of text that are attached with hyperlinks. Now see this example. I hope you remember this. It's a HTML program. So the output of the program is welcome to easy learning and components of multimedia. Can you see the difference between the two lines? One is a static text, another one is a hypertext because this line is having a link to another file. So if a mouse moves on the line, it will look like a hand and if you press the word, then the link is activated and it moves to another document. Look here. Is it clear children? So static is a normal display of text. Hypertext is a text with link. Next component of multimedia is images. It's a still image. Images act as a vital component in multimedia. There are two types. One is bitmap or raster images. Another one is vector images. So what's the difference between the two things? Raster images are created with pixel. Vector images are made up of paths, each with a mathematical formula. So first point is it's based on pixels, dots. It's based on paths which is formulated by a mathematical formula. Here, when you enlarge a picture, it will look blurry because it is resolution dependent. Here it is resolution independent. So, see the example here. This is the example for a raster image. So it's look like a line drawn by painting with pixels. It's with the path points with the formula. So if you enlarge, it will blur, look blurry. Here the resolution is very nice. So we have to decide how the image is going to be used in our multimedia product. Based on that, we have to choose whether it should be a raster image or a vector image. How to find out the raster image and the vector image? First point, the softwares like Photoshop, PaintShop, GIMP 
will produce raster image. Here they have given some formats JPG, GIF, PNG. These image formats belong to raster image. The softwares like Illustrate, Illustrator, Corel Draw, Inkscape will produce vector image. These are the file formats. So being a computer science student, if you are able to see any image, then you should know to know the for file format. How you will take it? By right clicking the file, you can view a property option. If you click the property option, then you can find out whether it is a raster image or the vector image. So have it in mind. If you are going to enlarge the image, then raster image will not work out then it must be a vector image then only you can easily change the resolution then you will get a clear output is it clear children the next two component is animation so animation consists of still images displayed so quickly that they give an impression of continuous movement here there is there are two dimensional and three dimensional animation so two dimensional will have a look on x and y axis but if it is a three dimensional it will have x y z dimension i'll show you an example image by just looking it you can understand the difference between 2d and 3d i hope nowadays all everyone all the kids like only the 3d animation am i right Apart from that, there are types of animation. One is path and another one is frame animation. Let's see an example for that. Path animation involves moving an object on the screen that has a constant background. Look at this ball. The ball alone moved in a path. This type of thing is said to be path animation. Next one is frame animation. Here multiple objects are allowed to travel simultaneously. Here I have given an example for two dimensional frame animation. The frame animation can be applied for three dimension also. Nowadays most of the graphics image or animated images are using frame animation format with three dimensional thing. This is an example for frame animation with 2D. The next two component is sound or audio. So, the most important and powerful tool is sound. It's a meaningful speech in any language and that is the most serious element in multimedia. Decibels, you know this is the measurement of volume and the pressure level of sound. In your book, they have given two things. One is MIDI, another one is digital audio. MIDI means music, musical instrument digital identifier. It is a standard communication tool developed for computers and electronic instrument. That means, for example, if you are having a keyboard or harmony or any other thing, that device is connected with many of the computer and many some electronic things to form a musical instrument digital identifier. It's a separate work technology. This tool is flexible and easy for composing the projects in multimedia. Then what about digital audio? It's just a representation of sound recorded in or converted into digital form. So I hope you know what is digital form. If a content is in the form of 1010, then it is said to be digital form. Here sampling is done. Sampling means conversion of the analog signal to the digital signal. This is said to be sampling and the sample the sound is a digitized sound which is able to store in computer related hardware things. Is it clear children? So, digital sound is all the sound which is able to hear through your computer, laptop, uh, those things which are recorded in your CD, these things are said to be digital audio. 
the sound that is produced with the standard technique of musical instrumental digital identifiers said to be MIDI files. Both have different usage, more or less, more or less look same. So we have to decide which type is needed for our multimedia product. Next one is video. So you know very well what is a video. So video is defined as the display of recorded event or scene. Display it's a type. It have two types as analog video and digital video. What you are looking here is a digital video because only digital video is able to display using computer tool. So analog videos are stored in any non-computer media. What are they? Do you remember the video tape which was used in in olden days, now we are saying like that only, but I have seen the tape. Here the digital video is audio or visual in binary format. Information is presented as a sequence of digital data rather than in a continuous signal as analog information. That is the formation of digital signals. Here I want to mention a point that is laser disc. What is laser disc? You know DVD, CD. What is laser disc? See here. This is the size of a laser disc. Just like our CD but the size is big. These are the cassette. Is it used in the tape recorder? This is used in the video player. The DVD. But it, nowadays it, these are all out of fashion. Now we are using only this type of CD or the mini CD. But the laser CD is may look like CD but it stores analog videos not the digital videos. So these are the information about the components of multimedia in your book. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos thank you have a good day